everyone, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use pencil filters in Procreate. Okay, so let's get started. Go to your adjustments panel. So before all of your effects in your adjustments panel were applied to your entire layer, but now with pencil filters you can apply them only with your pencil, which means anywhere your pencil touches or draws is where the effect is applied. So you can see that all of these effects now have it. Liquify and Clone do not, but everything else does. So I'm gonna show you an example. I'm gonna use Gaussian Blur, but first let me make sure I'm on the right layer. Okay, so I'm gonna be on this layer, and it's the layer behind my main layer. Okay pencil. Okay, so I'm going to blur this right here. And this looks a little bit too much of a blur. So we're going to undo and then lower the percentage. Let's try like around 30. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we're going to blur the word B just like this with our pencil. <laughs> Make sure it looks pretty good and blurred. Okay, now that it's all blurry, we'll also blur these so we can see kind of how it'll look. Okay, so this layer sits behind my main layer. So it will give kind of a blurry border effect to the entire project. So we're gonna turn on the main layer now so we can kind of see how it'll look. Okay, so now having the main layer on, you can see that there's a thin blurred line around the word B. And so you can use pencil, pencil filters with Gaussian blur, you can use them with motion blur and perspective. You can also use them with hue saturation and brightness and then play around with the others. But I like to use it for Gaussian blur because it gives me a more precise blur than having to blur every single thing on the layer and not have the ability to customize anything. So that's all you have to do. I'm really excited about these new filters and I think they're gonna allow for so much more customization among projects. So thanks so much for watching.